Hello, this is Allison Doherty again. I'm going to show you how to make a perfect seamless join of your cast off or your bind off stitches at the end of your caterpillar cowl project. Here we have uh, my project using the Malabrigo Rio yarn um, that is hand painted that we used in class and I have bound off all of my stitches um, in the pattern so our uh, knit one purl one and I'm going to bind all of my stitches off on my needles and here you can see that I have only three stitches remaining so in my pattern I'm going to bind off I, had, I have just purled a um, purl stitch and now I'm going to knit this next stitch, bind off my purl stitch. I'm going to purl the next stitch in my pattern. And I'm going to bind off the previous knit stitch by lifting it up and over the top of that last purl stitch. So now I only have one stitch remaining on my needle. So here's what you do. You cut your thread or you, you cut your yarn. I've already cut mine. I'm going to pull up on my needle with that last remaining loop until the yarn comes all the way through that last stitch. And so here you can see my nice bind off, um, bound off stitches, making these nice V shapes. Here and here. And you can notice that my very first stitch in this pattern also has a very nice V shape. And so to make this a perfect join so that we don't have this gap here between my stitches, we're going to mimic that V shape by taking it from my last stitch and joining it with this very first stitch. So what we need is a darning needle. And we're going to thread the end of our yarn through the darning needle here. And then I'm, in order to mimic the V shape of our bound off stitch pattern, I'm going to come into this first stitch. This is going to be that stitch that had our stitch marker. And I'm going to catch both loops of that V shape stitch. So one loop, two loop. So make sure you have both loops without splitting your yarn. You're going to pull that yarn through Then insert your needle down through the middle of the last V-shaped stitch you made in your bind off. And pull your ends snugly so that you create a matched V-shape in the tension of your pattern. So we just created this V stitch right there. Now it's easy to hide our yarn and to hide our tail of our project. I'm going to slip this tail with my darning needle to the back side or the wrong side of the fabric. You can tell that this is the right side because I have these knit stitches. Here are the purled caterpillars. And then we have this little edging of knit one, purl one ribbing at the very top and our nice bind off stitches. When I turn this where I slipped my yarn, you can see that I have all of the purl bumps facing me now. This is the wrong side of my work. And this is the side you want to hide your yarn. So I'm your yarn tail. I'm going to take my darning needle and I'm going to run it through 
the diag on the diagonal through all of the pearl bumps, like so. If you do end up splitting the yarn, that's okay because we are on the end of our project and that will just help for those of you using wool to um, catch that yarn so that it will grip a little bit better. So I'm not saying that I recommend that you um, split your stitches at all. And then check the front to make sure that you don't have any major um, areas where your yarn is going to come to the front. I'm going to just back my needle out one stitch and there you can see my needle is nicely hid and then you'll pull this through and then just work in a V shape to hide the rest of the tail of your yarn to complete the cowgirl convertible caterpillar cowl. Thank you.